And now it's my pleasure to introduce Abby Duan Isiet. She is the Executive Director of Abby Duan Isiet Initiative for Girls, an organization committed to promoting safe spaces for girls and women in society. She is a politician and leader of Nigerian Women Trust Fund. Abby Duan is the National Director of Women, Gender and Development Affairs of African Youth for Development Commission, Nigeria, and a resource consultant for European Center for Electoral Support in Nigeria. She is a gender activist, a community development expert, and an agent for social change. Thank you, Robin, for the introduction. Just reflecting on the presentation of my colleagues, we could say low representation of women in top decision-making platforms in various sectors is one of the major reasons behind the gaps my colleagues are trying to bridge through their research work. So, I'll be talking on enhancing women's participation in local governance through budget tracking. What will you learn? At the end of this presentation, you will understand local governance and gender roles, challenges of women in society and my political experience, case studies on how budget tracking can improve citizens' participation, follow demand. My role in AYTEC, which is African Youth for Development Commission, doing action research with the people. Slide three. The diagram you're seeing is the overall narrative of what my presentation will be focusing on. First, the marginalization of women in decision-making platforms. Below is the current statistics of women in decision-making platforms in Nigeria. Seven females in the Senate, 109 senators. Out of the 62 councillors in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, we have no women. The focus is on local governance. We believe that budget tracking is an entry point for women for women's participation in governance, and through this, it's going to improve public service efficiency. So local governance. Local government is the most fundamental and closest in the delivery of public services. Local government provides five bone water, basic sanitation, public health, primary education, and local market. Looking at the function of the local government, we can see that it's similar to the women's gender roles. Women assess the rely and depend upon basic function of the local government more than men. Efficient public services equals the stress-free performance of gender roles by women. Women are marginalized in the society because they have no or little opportunity to influence the political, economic, and the social processes and institutions which control and shape their lives. It has been argued that women need to be visible politically as women and be empowered to act in that capacity because they have needs different from those of men. This fact complements some of the national and international laws and policy that have been ratified and domesticated in my country, Nigeria. For example, we have the national gender policy, which provides, make provision for 35% affirmative action in decision-making platform. We have the CEDAW Convention, and the target of CEDAW Convention for 2015 was to have 30% of women in parliament and 50% in local government. Some other countries have achieved this. By 2015, that was the target. But Nigeria is too far from achieving this. Belgian Platform for Action 1995 also talks about inclusion of women in public and private sector. Now, finally, the SDG Goal 5.5. Ensure women's full and effective participation and equal opportunity for leadership at all levels of decision making in political, economic, and public sphere.
my political experience. I contested for the office of a councillor, which is the lowest level of, uh, of political office in Nigeria, in my ward, Uruzu ward, under Abuja Municipal Area Council. My why? Because I wanted to improve public service efficiency. Women are marginalized in all sectors that controls their life and to improve public service efficiency. I ran under the ruling party and I've been a member of the party for over two years. And my whole agenda was to get into the structure of the political party. My intention of running was not only to win an election, but to get into the structure of the party. The only position which you can confirm for women in political party is the position of a woman leader or a woman mobilizer, which I believe can't bring about any change unless women start occupying key positions in political parties. So what happened? You know, it's very difficult making my intention known by joining this patriarchal system in political parties. Concerning what happened, I contested against five men. My aspiration was a glass breaking one event because I was the first woman to ever aspire to contest since the council was created since 1995. So I did my primary elections and the number of votes counted was more than the number of delegates that voted. So instead of the returning officer declaring my election non and void, according to our electoral guidelines, the, it declared the election inconclusive in a way giving the electoral committee power to decide the result of the election. Who are these electoral committees? All men. So, and I'm sure, you know, the decision of the electoral committee was influenced by a lot of things. Patriarch is one of it. The next slide. So, on the case study, the picture you're seeing is about follow the money. It's a network of grassroots citizens who are dedicated to track government and international spending, making the government accountable to whatever allocation they have set out to achieve. Follow the money is a way of making local government accountable to the, to the village vigilance of local communities and organizations. I believe empowering grassroots women to follow the money is an entry point for women's inclusion in governance. You can follow the link and see more about the Follow the Money project. My role in AYDEC. Let me talk a little about AYDEC. AYDEC is African Youth for Development Commission. It's a new breed of, is a new breed and constituted in 2018 by some resourceful African youth like me, to serve as a unique strategic platform to chart a new course of action for African development in creating the Africa we want. Our goal is to create a, a unique and formidable network of, of African youth cluster towards Africa integration and mobilize her young people for development cooperation with the African region within the African region. So my role generally is to promote gender equality in the commission, support gender related programs, projects and policy, develop gender mainstreaming strategies, design and deliver capacity, and also to engage elected representatives to become accountable. Majorly my work is on identifying the development gaps and find a way to bridge the gaps using gender lens and approaches. I said AYDEC, I'm a board member of three national and international organizations, like Strong Enough Girls, Ladder Development Initiative, and Easy Medic Options. On the project, the action research. Action research is a kind of research that engages all the stakeholders in a constructive manner, meaning you carry all the stakeholders throughout the process of the research in the problem and education, the data gathering, the analysis, and also dissemination of the result. 
It's all about empowering them to take ownership of the project. The process will involve, we're going to map out the women's community map, because I'm doing this project in the local council, which is my ward. We're going to engage leaders, the local government, the women, and also empower the women to engage their local governments by teaching them about budget tracking. Our outcome majorly is to empower women and also inform policy, empower women with the skills needed to track the budget. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Abby.